will be repatriated from Moscow. Family members of Kotani have mixed feelings about his return. Moses Kotani's final resting place, thousands of kilometers away from home and his family. The former SACP Secretary General and NC Treasurer General died in exile in Moscow in 1978, hiding from apartheid forces. Now, news that he will finally come home. We finally have achieved victory. The fact that we're bringing Moses Kotani back to South Africa speaks to the issue of freedom and independence. It's been a long wait. His widow, now 103 years old, Mari Pekka Kotani was persuaded by the family to approach President Jacob Zuma. He discussed the matter with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin last week. The matter is being received and I think uh, there is an agreement. It's a question of discussing certain things. So the matter is on the table between the two countries. There is no uh, hesitation that this, once the family has said, uh, it's absolutely important that uh, uh, that repatriation takes place. The family says the repatriation process could take weeks, if not months. The remains of fellow NC and SSCP comrade J.P. Marks will also be brought home. He is buried in the same cemetery. Now this is going to be a very joyous welcome. Evidently it will be tinged with sorrow. The two were comrades in arms. The Arts and Culture Department and the Russian government are still finalizing the matter. Mangwabam Tunu, SAPC News, Johannesburg.